Hello everyone, Alex Afraitis here with a quick and dirty performance comparison for Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Since it's out now for both PC and Switch, I figured it would be a good idea to run the Switch version through its paces. I've gathered footage from the opening hours on the Switch, the Steam Deck, which is officially verified by the way, and my PC running the game at max settings. I'll leave my specs in the description for those interested. I then sent our fearless leader and resident graphics expert, John Rarden, our Switch footage for frame counting and analysis. Here's what we found. The Switch version runs at max resolution in both handheld and docked play, 720p and 1080p respectively. We did not catch any instances of dynamic resolution, however, there is no form of anti-aliasing either, so the resulting image will be clear but crunchy. Expect to see plenty of jagged edges, especially in shadows. I won't dwell on the Steam Deck version since that's not our focus here, but I did want to point out a couple of things while we're talking about resolution. The Steam Deck will allow you to max out all graphic settings, but will cap out the resolution at 1280 by 720 even when docked. So speaking solely in terms of resolution, Bomb Rush on Switch matches the Steam Deck in handheld and renders at a higher resolution when docked. 1280 by 720 is actually a smidge lower than the Steam Deck display's native resolution of 1280 by 800. In fact, the way the game achieves the deck's 16 by 10 aspect ratio is by offering a resolution of 1152 by 720, subtracting pixels from the width instead of the far more common practice of adding pixels to the length. A curious decision considering the game performed without a hitch, maintaining a rock solid 60 FPS at 720p during our testing. Speaking of frames per second, developer Team Reptile has made an interesting choice for the Switch as well. By default, Bomb Rush runs at a perfect 30 FPS on Switch. We are happy to report that we caught no frame dips us out of the margin of error, and can confirm that the frame pacing is correct with no observed issues. However, there is an option in the game's setting unique to the Switch version labeled Unleash the Beast. Those daring enough to toggle this on will unlock the 30 FPS cap and allow plebeian Switch owners to experience 60 FPS bliss sometimes. To our surprise, Bomb Rush does maintain this target for decent stretches of time, but rest assured it will find its way to the 50s and 40s. Players who plan to go beast mode should expect the frame rate to sit in the 45 to 50 FPS range for the most part. I tend to prefer consistent frame rates over unsteady high ones, so my first instinct is to avoid unleashing the beast, but I can imagine some might prefer the opposite. Grinding, wall riding, and hitting tricks at high speed is a thrill at 60 frames per second, and it is always a pleasant surprise to see a new cross platform Switch game hit that number. Whatever you decide, we have to commend Team Reptile for including this as an option to begin with. If the Switch's successor happens to be backwards compatible, then it will be interesting to return to Bomber Cyberfunk and see if it can maintain 60 FPS as thoroughly as the current system maintains 30. The bulk of my analysis ends here. Alas, I am no John Raritan, so I'm not especially equipped to comment on the other compromises made in the Switch version. But I will quickly note a couple of things. Load times are longer on Switch, no surprise there considering my PC and Steam Deck are running off of SSDs. The draw distance is such that I can see items and NPCs fade in on the horizon, though in fairness this is also the case on PC and Steam Deck, and never bothered me all that much. The most glaring downgrade I noticed was the lack of specific shadow details. You can see it best here in this shot of the police station parking lot. The building lacks some shading and the cars appear completely flat. This is not so pervasive as to detract from the overall look of Bomb Rush on Switch. I only noticed it while comparing footage for this analysis, but it deserves mentioning. That is all I have for today, but I'll leave you with some more comparison footage for your viewing pleasure. Trust that I am hard at work on getting the full review out sometime this week. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Until next time, thank you for watching Nintendo World Report TV. Life's never perfect. Beauty runs deeper than the surface. Album won't sell, but the soul not for purchase. Birth this ill style with mouse.
This video is made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Did you know that Nintendo World Report is funded directly by fans like you? When you support Nintendo World Report on Patreon, you get immediate access to multiple exclusive podcasts every month, exclusive Discord channels, an early look at select content, and more. All for as little as a dollar a month. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details.